Hey, this is Dennis here. Welcome back to the Scene Maker. It's been a while since I have put one of these together, but uh, there are so many scenes I'd like to show you, but I'm going to show you one that I recently made. And this, uh, the title of this installment is just Boxcar Memories. When I was young, which has been decades ago, I got a book at the school library. The book is the first in the series of the uh, Boxcar Children by Gertrude C. Warner. This book was one which uh, inspired my love of collecting things and displaying them and actually going out to find pieces. Today, there are well over 100 titles in that series, but none of those can compare with the quality of the first three, in my opinion. The first in the series was originally published in 1924 and then revised uh, in a shortened version in 1942. I remember my brother Bill and some of his dip friends would go to an old dump in the woods at the end of Shreve Drive, um, where we lived at 4233. He brought back cool things, just like the Alden kids did in the boxcar children, and I begged him to take me with him, but he wouldn't, just, just to annoy me, he wouldn't, because he knew I wanted to go, and he knew there was no way my mom would let me go by myself. The Alden, Alden children found a, a junkyard in the story where they found cast-offs which they could use. And then in a following story, they lived near a shore on an island and collected shells and, uh, and things and labeled them for display, and they had a really cool place set up. And anyway, the Alden children were orphaned and made a home for themselves in an old railroad boxcar. I loved it, and often I laid in bed at night and made up stories of a boxcar I found and lived in and had many wonderful adventures. So this small miniature scene that I'm showing you, I built as a tribute to that delightful book of my childhood. In building the scene, I used an upside-down Coke glass on a clear glass jar lid that I dug up at, uh, at a house tear out here in Saginaw. The hand painting on the glass I, I did, of course. And the little caboose uh, car is from a 1950s toy that my friend Barry Gill Alberg dug up here in Saginaw, again at a house tear out. The caboose at the end of the train is something you never see anymore, and that's really sad. I remember sitting with Dad, Mom, my sister, and brothers at the railroad crossing on the Dixie Highway in Bridgeport. It seemed like the trains would take forever to go by. But when the caboose would come, uh, there was always a man at the back or in one of the windows waving to us as, as he passed us by. He almost seemed like a, a trusted friend because we had seen him so often. These are memories of childhood that I, I cherish and that uh, are commemorated in this miniature glass scene that I created. You see, um, the miniature scenes are something new that I'm doing. Um, uh, well, I mean, they're all miniatures that I make in, that, in one sense or another. The shadow boxes, the shadow books, the uh, picket fences. Uh, but now I'm, gonna, I'm adding these because they're, they're very easy to make. And it's very easy to find things laying around your house even to uh, use as a display case. Um, I have a wide variety of um, different jars, glass jars that I've saved and uh, things like that that you can build really cool scenes in. So if you have special memories, and I'm sure you do, of your own childhood, um, please tell me about them in the comment section below. I'd love to read them. And perhaps if enough of them come in, I'll do some scenes and videos based on those. Hey, thanks for stopping by. God bless and stay well.